this amazing cast. <laughs> of your time. I hope that's okay. Please sit down because it makes me feel shorter than I am. <laughs> um, first of all, um, I, I'd just like to say thank you so much to everyone for coming tonight. Um, my name's Jonathan. I'm one of the writers on the show. Um, I think most of you know that because most of you in the audience have been in the show at some <laughs> stage. Um, and I'm one of the original cast members. And I just wanted to say a few words on behalf of kind of everyone at Mischief on, on behalf of Henry and Henry Shields as well, and just all of us really. Um, so here we go. Um, in the last few days and weeks, a few people have asked um, kind of two recurring questions. Um, how do you feel about the show hitting 10 years old in the West End, and why do you still look like you're 12? <laughs> <laughs> the answers in reverse order are an olive oil heavy diet, <laughs> <laughs> and the second is I really, really, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I found it really hard to, um, to work out how this feels and emotionally kind of it's very surreal and I can't quite sum it up. So I thought the best way to try and work out what 10 years on the West End means was to look at some data and facts. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> 10 years in the West End. For us, 10 years in the West End is a decade. For Cornley, it is 3,695 consecutive opening nights. <laughs> During that time, there have been 106 actors who have trodden the boards at the murder, for, murder at Havisham Manor, one of which was our director, Mark, during a particularly unpleasant <laughs> bout of food poisoning, <laughs> where he went on as Trevor. Um, during those 3,000-odd shows, we have burned through 2,607 fire extinguishers. <laughs> the word ledger has been shouted 54,747 <laughs> times. I asked in the office, how do we know that? They said, we have someone who counts. <laughs> <laughs> the 106 actors have been struck, hit, and blown by objects 125,000 times. <laughs> And during that decade, there has been 11,380 minutes of looped dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> during that, the show has been seen by 1,658,700... tricky times in different ways at the moment, even during that period, our audiences have always been very generous. We often do bucket collections, and during the 10 years, our audiences, after paying to see the show, have donated £459,000 to different children's causes. <laughs> There's, there's, um, there's three questions that have come up in interviews that I just want to answer super quick as well. So the first one is, did you ever imagine that this show would run for this long? Obviously not, no. <laughs> <laughs> Has anything ever actually gone wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yes, every single night. <laughs> There's a long, 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 highly stacked list of near-miss records that prove it as well. Um, and why, why has the show run for so long? And uh, there's, there's kind of different technical reasons why I think maybe the show coming at the right time and, and all that kind of stuff and, and uh, loads of different reasons. Um, but I think the main one, and the reason, this is the reason why I really wanted to speak tonight, um, I think the main reason why this show has run for so long is because we have all been lucky enough to work with phenomenal people. Um, 
we were literally children when we put this show up. And I think as I've got older, I've realized how wonderful the people that we work with are in every single department. So, you know, everyone at Mischief, so in, in regards to like my writing colleagues, just amazing. Nance, Greg, Rob, Charlie, Dave, um, and Henry Shields, um, who, who um, just, just amazing creatives and collaborators and, and, and originators of, of brilliant, funny work. Um, our production team, um, and producers Kenny and Mark, who um, deserve a huge round of applause. For <laughs> we work, we work not just with us, but just consistently, quietly go around backing new writers and new work, taking risks, being brave, doing all the amazing things that have brought the West End back on its feet. Kenny and Mark deserve tremendous plaudits for doing that. Um, <laughs> amazing casts, amazing casts and stage management. Some of you are here today. One of the most amazing things, I don't know if you felt this, Hen, but just as everyone came in, me and Hen ended up kind of trapped at the doors <laughs> and kind of became official greeters. And it's so amazing to see all these different people who've been in the show and not just kept it running, but kept it thriving and kept it alive and kept it funny. And seeing you all with partners who've been in the show and married with kids and friendship groups and your own stories splintering off. Some of you taking shows to the fringe this year that were amazing. Like, it is absolutely amazing. Um, the team at Kenny Wax's office, there's so many. I'm gonna, I am gonna, I'm gonna name check everyone if I can because I just think it's really important to do this. So I wanna say a huge thanks at the moment to Luke and Gemma and Laurie, but Sarah and Kezia and Letty and everyone, anyone who I might have forgot there, but everyone at Kenny's office. I wanna say thank you to Martin Barrow who does all of our tickets, to everyone who's worked on promotions on the show, to everyone who, to Joe Hutchinson who did marketing tilling on the show for so long and her team at JHI. I want to say a huge thank you to the Duchess team, to Amy, um, our, our amazing associate director. To the to Sean, to, to every single person who has kept this show, again, running, the maintenance and the diligence and the love that is required to keep a show feeling vibrant and fresh. They go the extra mile every single time. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone at Mischief Worldwide. That's our incredible CEO, Joe Danvers. <laughs> our chair, Hilary, um, Jess, Dorothy, who's just joined us, Manoli, who is somewhere. <laughs> our head at marketing, Harry Lockyer, who does... <laughs> Mischief tickets, everyone at De Winters, everyone that's sold out, everyone on the box office, um, our amazing, amazing creative team, who I hope some, most of you are here tonight. Again, when we did this show, we were children. I looked like I was about eight years old. <laughs> and they listened to us, and they backed us, and they came with amazing ideas. Um, thank you so much to our original director, Mark, who I know is in tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> My handwriting is so poor. <laughs> um, to Joe Allen PR, to Storyhouse PR, that's Nada, and David, to Rona and everyone at Tandem, <laughs> to Jasper, who's done amazing kind of video work and content work for us recently. Um, just, just to absolutely everyone, to Digby, our production manager, and of course to everyone at NIMAX, the ushers who see everyone in, everyone at the <laughs> Well, and then, um, and then also, of course, to our landlords, um, NIMAX, who, <laughs> <laughs> who are really, really, rem again, really remarkable people. Lawrence and Nika, particularly, who I had the pleasure to, to know. Um, just, it's so important to back young artists and creators. And again, they do all the time. 
and the West End is in a decent place in my opinion and that is really because of a lot of the people who are in this room they've done such phenomenal phenomenal work again just to, uh, the people who do our insurance um, God in Israel <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone, I'm sure I've, I'm, I'm sure somehow I've missed someone out, but just, just a huge thank you Roberta. to, to Rob, Roberta, the greatest. <laughs> just absolutely everyone. Um, this, I'm going to leave you all on this note. Um, this achievement, um, which is quite a weird thing to talk about, because this is obviously everything is built on things failing within this show and really within our company. Um, <laughs> But this achievement really is a collective achievement. So if you go away with, with one thing today, if you've worked on the show in any, in any aspect, in any department, this achievement is absolutely everyone's. Um, this doesn't happen that often. Um, so well done. When you, before you go to bed tonight, pat yourselves on the back. <laughs> <laughs> you've done really, really, really well. Um, thank you to our amazing audiences, some of whom have seen the show maybe more than I have by this point. But our, our audiences and fans are incredible. Um, thank you so, so much. Um, let's all go and have a drink now and celebrate. You're all brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs>